Hi, Rick here from Man of the Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. At some point, your Phantom 4 is going to require an update. So this video is going to cover updating the firmware on the P4. So things you're going to need, of course, is the craft, the controller, your tablet on the controller, but also you're going to need to dig out your auxiliary cables here, which there are two of. So first thing first is we're going to need the actual firmware itself, which we download through the app. So we click on there, it will come up giving you a list of information of what this app will actually include, which if there's lots of information, you can scroll down. So continue to download, and then you'll have a progress at the bottom here. Now, so that we're not waiting for that to fully download, I'm just going to cut the video uh, when it... For... Okay, now that's finished downloading, we now have to get a little bit frisky with the cables to get everything all connected up. Okay, so first things first, we need to take this adapter lead, which comes with your kit, and we're going to plug it into the USB socket on the side of the craft. Now, remember, it is a keyed connector, so it has to go in, in a certain way round. Clip that in there. Now, taking the cable that normally connects your tablet to the controller, unplug it from the controller, and then connect it into the craft. And this is going to allow the uh, firmware to travel into the craft. You'll now have noticed that the um, upgrade has now start, uh, upgrade button is now illuminated. So just click on that, and the upgrade will now be in progress. Now, just so that we're not uh, sitting here for this whole thing, I'm going to just stop the video. Now, during the process of the update, you'll get the craft making all sorts of strange noises, and you notice the gimbal twitching. Don't worry, your craft has not got Tourette's. It's just all part of the updating processes. Various systems shut down and reboot. Uh, and uh, that's us now complete. We have upgrade successful and complete, so we can just tap on there. And then we should be good to go back into camera view. Oh, of course, we have to reconnect the craft. So just uh, unplug the adapter from the craft, take the adapter lead out, and then plug that back into the USB socket on the back of the controller. Okay. Okay. Obviously wanna skip that, we've been through all that before. And that's us back in. Let's just go back in here. So now you see we've done the craft, but now we need to do the controller. So we can basically just kind of similar thing again, download. Again, just so that we're not waiting, I'm just going to stop the video. Okay, just as that's downloaded, I'm just going to just cover a couple of things. Just remember before you do your download, ensure that your tablet is fully charged. The controller is fully charged and the craft is fully charged because if any of them go down while it's updating it could uh, corrupt, the, uh, corrupt the firmware in the craft and stop you from flying completely. Now just regarding uh, battery updates, in this particular update there is no battery update, uh, however periodically they do and where it came up and said RC requires update would also say battery update. Now during the normal aircraft update it would have updated the battery, however if you do have more than one battery to update what you will need to do is you'll need to in insert each battery in turn to make sure that all your batteries are updated. Now we're almost there, 98. 99, 100. So that's the firmware downloaded. So now we can do start to upgrade. So you can see there it's actually telling the current firmware 1.5 and actually the latest firmware is actually 1.58 and we're coming from 1.7. You also notice as well the screen going blank there. That'll happen as the systems in the transmitter boot up. Now, you can see it's out of shot, but the small LEDs are along the front, you've got your white ones that show battery level, but the one to the left, which is the status, that'll change from, uh, normally it's green, but it'll change from like blue to cyan, etc. as it's updating. And there we go. So that's us now all updated. Go back. Do -do -do -do. Now... You notice here when I went back, it actually said firmware require update. That's just, it's like it's cached in. So you'll find that if you actually restart the aircraft that that would go away. Because if you do click on and go into it, you can actually see that uh, everything's uh, fully up to date. If you actually want to see what firmware you're actually on, if you go on to the quadcopter logo, scroll down to the bottom, scroll right down here to about, it will actually tell you there. So it'll have things like, you know, the app, the aircraft and the RC. 
Okay, hope you found that helpful and I hope you enjoy flying your Phantom 4 safely. Okay, just as a little footnote, if you find that when you've actually done the update, I don't know if you noticed there, I actually lost the picture to the monitor. Um, just simply restart the controller, restart the craft, and then it will actually all bounce back up again. So I hope you found this video helpful in getting yourself going on your new Phantom 4. I'll be doing a range of videos that will go into the more uh, specific features, especially of the app, um, as time goes on. And just remember when you're flying your new Phantom 4, fly safely. Remember all the sort of restrictions that I mentioned in the video further about flying in proximity to people and how far and high to fly away from yourself. I'm Rick from Marin for Models, a DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. Thank you very much.